I've been a fan of Jane Goodall since I was a kid when I first saw her on a National Geographic special in my own living room. She was and still is in my books a conservation superstar. After spending decades with chimpanzees in Tanzania, her groundbreaking research changed how we think about these amazing animals. In 1987, I booked Dr. Goodall for her first speaking engagement in Western Canada. Well, following the event, my wife and I took Jane hiking, being just naturalists out there in the wilds. When I dropped her off at the airport, she invited us to come and visit her in Gombe. I said, are you serious? She said, yes, of course. Well, how can you turn down an opportunity like that? Six months later, we were in Tanzania, working our way across the country to go and visit Jane Goodall. It was a remarkable week. We tagged along with Jane and her research assistants, following chimps from dawn until dusk. Jane pioneered the practice of naming chimps rather than assigning them numbers, and we spent a lot of time with members from the famous F family of chimps, including one very special character named Frodo. Named for the pint-sized humble hobbit in Lord of the Rings, Frodo had grown to be larger and stronger than any of his peers. He also had a nasty reputation to go with his size, and he didn't just bully chimps. He'd been known to get physical with humans, too. Lucky me, I seemed to attract Frodo's attention. Maybe it was my camera, maybe it was because I wasn't wearing a shirt, but eventually Frodo thought it was important to show me who was boss. one of the best experiences I've ever had. It was all over very quickly, and it left a few marks. But all in all, I found the experience thrilling. One of the best experiences I've ever had. Jane told me that Frodo might approach, and if he does, make sure that your camera strap is around your neck, make sure that you don't let him get anything, because if he gets it, he's gonna take off with it. But Frodo wasn't finished with me. A bit later, he approached me again, only this time the results were quite different. He pulled my head down and he started to groom the back of my neck. And I could feel his lips going through my hair. My heart was absolutely pounding with excitement. So I put my hand around and he grabbed my hand and put it on his tummy, which is stretched as tight as a drum. And, uh, and then I started to groom Frodo. And Frodo calmed down right away and his lower lip relaxed and drooped down. It just blew me away. I, I was just overwhelmed with excitement. It ultimately ended in the, the most incredible contact. <laughs> Words will never do this moment justice. Recently, I received word that Frodo had passed away. For 37 years, he was a huge presence in Gombe, a dominant hunter, fighter, and alpha male. Gombe won't feel the same with Frodo gone, but I can guarantee he'll never be forgotten.